It is the law firm divorce making headlines nationwide. Salino and Barnes brought their battle back into the courtroom today here in Buffalo in the case that could end the famous partnership. And our Danny Spiewak was there. He's live tonight with an update. Danny. Yeah, Mary Alice, from a big picture perspective, nothing really changed in this case today. Salino is still trying to dissolve the firm in his partnership with Barnes, and Barnes is actively opposing that. But today's court appearance was really all about how the firm is continuing to operate and the day-to-day -day operations with clients, more than 12,000 of them, while this entire legal battle is going on. It's really become kind of a mess and a very highly publicized mess at that. So Salino was in court today watching the proceedings. Barnes himself was not there, but Barnes lawyers today were seeking a preliminary injunction to expand an order preventing Collins or, or uh, Salino rather from taking action that would harm firm the firm during the legal battle. And Salino's attorney says his client has done no such thing. The judge appeared to agree and uh, denied the motion from Barnes legal team. Both sides really are in agreement. I would say uh, that they want the firm to continue operating successfully for those more than 12,000 clients. Here's what Terry Connors had to say, the attorney for Ross Salino. That's true that the firm will run and that's what Ross wants as well. He wants his lawyers to be protected, the clients to be protected until the ultimate day comes when the judge will consider the issue of dissolution. There was no comment today on camera from Stephen Barnes lawyer. In fact, he actually sought a media gag order from the judge, but that was denied and it was uh, also opposed by Ross Salino's team. Uh, so that gag order didn't go anywhere today, but it was requested by Barnes legal team. The case, meanwhile, continues, and there is a court date set for late September. Reporting live here in downtown Buffalo, Danny Spiwa, Channel 2 News.